Hello everyone, welcome to our channel NJP Coaching. Myself NJ Sakya. Today I am going to discuss a few multiple choice questions of the chapter number system of class 9 general math under both SEBA and CBSE. As I am going to ask a very important question in class 9 or Hadhan Ganitor Prathom Adhyay. I will tell you about this chapter. And this chapter is the CBSE and the CBSE. Okay, let's start the questions. First question. The first question. Which of the following pair of numbers are co-prime? यात पेयर वाइज अत साड़ी ता पेयर्स दिया से नंबर्स दिया से यार कौन तो को प्राइम हो 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 मूलिक अब हम यात जो तो कहा जाए हो हो मूलिक हाँ इंखा प्रथम तो हमें जानने को लगी बो को प्राइम बा हो हो मूलिक की जार एसीएफ दो ता नंबर और एसीएफ बा गोखा को जितिया वन हो तितिया हमें हहमूलिक बुली कौन? ऐसा फ्रैक्शन और न्यूमेरेटर डेनोमिनेटर दो इटा हहमूलिक खोला कैंसल ना जाए। सपोज एट इज़ ए कंजुगेट नंबर, नाइन इज़ आल्सो ए कंजुगेट नंबर। दो इटा इज़ जोगी कौन का? किंतु पेयर वाइज़ जब दो इटा हहमूलिक बा कोप्राइम क्यों नो? एट आरो नाइन सपोज आई राइट � they have no any common factor. दूसरा हम इंखा जो भी कोनो common factor न था के तृतीय हल्ला हमें कौन co-prime बा homomolic ऐसे हमें विषयी वो लगे ये साड़ी ताऊ सुनो भीतर कौन तो homomolic हो six and eight there is a common factor two two is a common factor of both six and eight 14 and 21, 7 is the common factor. 18 and 35, 18 and 35. This is 18, 2 into 3 into 3. And 35, 5 into 7. That means 18 and 35, these are the factors. For 18, these factors. For 35, these are two factors. But 18 and 35, they have no common factor. So C is the right answer. This is co-prime. 39 and 65, there is a common factor which is, there is a common factor which is 13. We can divide 39 by 13, 65 by 13. And by 13, these two numbers are divisible. So C is the right answer. Next, next question. Uh, this is a very important question. Which of the following is an irrational number? Taller kuntu eta aporimeo hankha. Irrational number ba aporimeo hankha. Ami aporimeo hankha zibla p by q format prokak kuri bonwari. Those numbers which cannot be expressed as P by Q, where P and Q are integers and Q not equal to 0. Ami, aporimeo hankha ba irrational number, zani bole hale, pathom keta man kathom monot rakhi bo lagi bo, square root or number bilak, jodhi square root to break no hoi. Square root, jodhi perfect square number no hoi. Then a root over 2, root over 3, root over 4 out of these 3 root over 4 is rational because 4 is a perfect square number so we can write root over 4 equal 2 so these 2 are not perfect square numbers 2 and 3 so square root of 2 and square root of 3 are always irrational but in our options here no square root numbers so apart from this we have to know some other concepts for irrational numbers. 
so irrational number is a non terminating non repeating decimal jetia decimal representation dia thake dashamikot jetia dia thakibo prothom kotha terminating no hobo lagibo this is a terminating decimal so this is not an not the answer this is p by q form it cannot be 22 by 7 we have to find irrational number this is not an irrational number 22 by 7 3.14 terminating decimal now non terminating decimal two numbers left these two are non terminating decimal now we have to check which one is repeating and which one is non repeating 3.142 4242 this is a repeating decimal so this number we can write 3.142 recording here 3.142 41 after 4 2 again after 4 1 this is not repeating after 4 first we get 2 again after 4 we have got 1 so this is a non terminating non repeating decimal and this is the irrational number number d zodi ami irrational number and a decimal number of bisaribo loga hoy hodai monot rakhibo lagibo fraction always rational fraction eta hodai porimoy sankha jeti ami decimal pam Decimal pala perform sum perform sum terminate hoise na na. This is a terminating decimal. No dots are there. And these two are non-terminating decimal. The edo ta terminate hua na hai. Dots are se number edo ta. Tar pisa tamhi sum kunto repeat hoise. Decimal jodi repeat hoise. Four two four two after that again four two then. We can write 3.142 for to recording. And last one, it is non-repeating. So non-terminating, non-repeating decimal is an irrational number. So this is a very important question. Sometimes uh, students you will get uh, different options. Suppose if in between these numbers, in among these numbers, if you get pi, pi is irrational. Pi is irrational. Square root of any imperfect square. Say square root 3. This is an irrational. But remember, sometimes say square root of 441. 441 is a perfect square number. 21 square. So 441 is a rational number only. Okay, for this question, option B is the correct answer. Next question, when 15 root of her 15, this is an irrational number, 15 root of her 15 is divided by 3 root of her 3, then uh, the question is, Zodi 15 root 15, a number to Zodi 3 root 3, a number to Zodi divide kora zai, teti aami question ki paon. Bhagful ki ho. So 15 root over 15, 15 root over 15 uh, divided by 3 root over 3. We can cancel irrational numbers also. So we can cancel 3 and 15, 3 5 are 15. For root 5, root 15 and root 3, what we have to do? 5. So root 15 equal root of our 3 into 5. So we can write root 3 root 5 and then root 3. So root 3 root 3 again cancel. The answer is 5 root 5. Very simple question. 5 root 5. This is the answer. C is the answer. This is a very simple one. So uh, this way you can do. Next. Next, okay. This is a question. This is a typical question. An irrational number between two and two point five. So for some students, mathematics is easy. 
And for some students, mathematics is, mathematics is hard. This subject is hard. Uh, for some students, this is a very easy question. And for some students, it may not be easy. So let me discuss. Apa oporimeo hoinka. Tu aru. Sorry. Apa oporimeo hoinka. Yeah. Apa oporimeo hoinka. Tu aru 2.5 or mazot taki bolake. A option site are bitter of Kuntu Hoinka, Kuntu number two aru, two point five or Mazota say. So, first thing, uh, no need to find the square root of all the numbers one by one. Thus, we have to use some trick. Suppose root of her eleven, root of her eleven. So, uh, we have to know some perfect square numbers. 1, 4, 9, 16, these are perfect square numbers. So, what is root of her 1? 1. What is root of her 4? 2. Root of her 9? 3. And what is root of her 16? 4. So, if we know these numbers, now root of her 9 equal 3. First number is root of her 11. Root of her 11. So obviously it is greater than 3 because root over 9 is 3, root over 11 is more than that. We cannot include that number in this range between 2 and 2.5. Root over 5, root over 5, this is a number between 4 and 9, 4 and 9. Root over 4 equal to, so root over 5 is greater than 2, obviously it is uh, its value is more than 2. But we need root over 2.5. 2.5. So what is root of, uh, to get 2.5? Actually, 625. This is also a perfect square number. And this square root of 6.25 is 2.5. So and root 5 is less than 6.25. So 5 lies between 2 and 2.5 if we take the square root. So this is the correct option. Because another one 22, this is more than 9. 12, it is also more than 9. It is greater than 9. So 22.5, 12.5, these two numbers after taking square root gives a value which is more than 3. So our answer is root over 5. Without finding the square root of all the numbers, this way we can find this. Okay. Next question. Next question. A rational number between root 2 and root 3. How to find? How to find a rational number between root 2 and root 3? So root 2, the value is 1.4142 and it is a non commuting decimal. Root 3 equal 1.73 etc. So uh, root over 2, 1.41 root over 3, this is 1.73. Okay. So how, if uh, the students, if you do not know how to find root 2 and root 3, so uh, we can proceed by taking, by uh, long division method, thus uh, let me show how to find root 2 and root 3, before writing this, thus I want to show root of her 2, root of her 2. How to find? 1 on the 1. 1. If you put a decimal, two zeros will come. Sort that. Quickly I want to show. And this question I have to make double. And same 
equation I have to put here. Then, if I uh, put 5 here and here 5, 525, 125, it will be more than that. So, 4, 4, 96, then 4. Again, double zero will come for this decimal point. Then, in this stage also, this 14 is the question, it will become 28 and we have to put another same number, 28. If we put 2, then 2, 2, it will more than that. So, 1 will come, 1, 281. Okay, enough. That means, root of her 2 equal 1.41. Like that. If I, so what is root of her 3? What is root of her 3? So 3, again we will get 1, 1 is a 1, 2, point, double zero. And this question we have to make double, same question we have to put. If I get, give 8 here, 8 into 28, it will be more than 200. So 7, we can put 7, 7 is a 49, 189, 1, 11. Then again, double 0. And again, this 17, it will become 34. Again, same number I have to put. So, 3, okay, 3 I can put, 3, 3 is a 9, 1, 0, 2, 9, 1.73. So, root 3 equal 1.73, non terminating. Okay, uh, this topic, this is a, uh, this is not a short topic. If you do not know how to find the square root of some numbers by long division method. Okay, again I will come separately with this topic. So I have just shown how for 2 and 3 we can find out square root. Square root of 2, square root of 3. Simply we, we can remember square root of 2 is 1.4142. Like that square root of 3 is 1.73. Put some dot. Two decimals enough. So, Ami jodi 2 out of 3, a number to try to the Borgamul huliyao, titiya hale, long division method of Borgamul hobo. So, we have to know that root of R2 equal 1.41 and root of R3 equal 1.73 Now this is very simple A rational number between root 2 and root 3 Now these all are terminating decimals All are rational numbers Yeah, protect to a terminate hoise Non-terminating decimal no hoi Yeah, protect to the homic hankhai hobo poribao hankha Kito root 2 or root 3 A duta velur mazat thakki bo lagi this is this number is less than 1.41 so this is less than root 2 again 1.4 again it cannot be because 1.4 is less than root 2 then 1.8 it cannot be because it is greater than root 3 1.73 so c is the right answer 1.5 root 2 aru root 3 mazat thoka polynomial hankha to hobo 1.5. This is the correct answer. Yeah. This question. This is uh, which of the following is not true? Okay, in exam always uh, proceed carefully. Sometimes which of the following is true, and sometimes. Which of the following is not true? It about Ruta Hoja. A not to the Kina Bale, Kuntu Hudo and Tik Maito Gusio Hata. So read the question carefully. Tolor Kuntu Hudo Nahoi. 
Every integer is a rational number. First option. Every rational number is a real number. Next. Every integer is a real number. And last option. Every real number is an irrational number. So uh, this question is very simple. But you have to remember. You have to remember one point clearly. Clearly you have to remember this point I want to show real numbers are divided into two parts rational numbers and irrational numbers here I have been using as here I am writing only symbols R means set of real numbers Q means set of rational numbers Q bar means set of irrational numbers again these uh, rational numbers rational numbers are divided into two parts that is integers z and fractions fractions now this integer this integer is divided by uh, divided into two parts whole number and negative whole numbers negative whole numbers and whole numbers are divided into two parts, natural numbers and zero. So to do any type of question, this type of question, this type of any question, so always you have to remember this figure. Real numbers are divided into two parts, rational and irrational. Rational number, uh, I am writing Q and this is coming from the word quotient quotient by bhagfal then it is divided rational numbers are divided into two parts integers and fractions integers z in some books uh, you may get i also z uh, is a german word that is zahlen zahlen means to count and Whole numbers, English word, W is -E, whole. So W we can use. Natural numbers, it comes from English word. N, first letter of the word natural. Now see, in this scene, in this scene, whole numbers are natural and zero. So all natural numbers are whole numbers, this is true. Like that zero is a whole number, this is true. Whole number is a integer this is true negative whole numbers are integers this is true this also true all integers are rational numbers like that all rational numbers are real numbers all irrational numbers are real numbers so in this scene from bottom to top all are correct all necessary numbers are integers also all natural numbers are integers because if we go from taller prajati ami upor le jao from the bottom side to top then all are true but if we come down all ideal numbers are not rational because there are some irrational numbers all rational numbers are not integers because there are some fractions like that all rational Rational numbers are not whole numbers because there are some fractions, negative numbers, these are not whole numbers. So now we have to we have to check these options. Every integer is a rational number. This is integer. And just I mentioned if we go from bottom to top, this is correct. So this one is true. Next Every rational number is a real number. Rational number is a real number. So this is also correct. Every integer is a real number. This is integer. Every integer is a real number. This is also correct. Every real number is an irrational number. Every real number is an irrational number. We cannot come down. So this is not true. So according to the question, which one of the following is not true? D is not true. So, anequa jodi 
प्रश्न आहे तो रिलेशन तो ए फिगर तो कौन तो लगभग के रिलेट करे ठीक हो ना मैं तो ठीक है अमी तलाव पर आप बोले जितना जाम छबे हुद्ध है ऊपर पर तलाव ले अहिले ना हो पार्ट पार्ट तो तलाव पर आप जितना ऊपर पर जितना तलाव ले अहिले बहुत जितना हुद्ध है एप्री इंटीजर इज रेशनल नंबर मीनिंग तो हो प्रोटेक तो Every rational number is a real number. Protect to polymer hoinkha, basto hoinkha. Correct. Next, protect to ahonda hoinkha, basto hoinkha. Correct. And last option, protect to basto hoinkha, all polymer hoinkha. This is correct. No? So, answer is D, option D. Okay. Okay, this is a very simple question. Root of R 12 into root of R 8 is equal to. Root of R 12 into root of R 8 is equal to. So, uh, calculation is very simple. Root of R 12 into root of R 8. If you get multiplication of two numbers, first, doing this way 12 into 8 under same square root square root of 12 into 8 now 12 if I factorize 2 square into 3 and again 8 2 square into 2 okay. this is square number this is square number pairwise it will come out and 3 into 2. So 4 root of R 6. 4 root of R 6. Okay, separately also we can do this. Root of R 12 into root of R 8. If I proceed separately, root of R 12, 2 square into 3. And root of R 8, again 2 square into 2. So this is 2 root of R 3 into 2 root of R 2. Now 2, 2 is 4 and root 3, root 2, 6, same only. And we can proceed in this way also, we can proceed in this way also. So sometimes, what happens? Sometimes after mixing the both numbers under one square root, we may get another square also. That's why we have to use this, this is better. So option C. This is the correct one. Okay, a rational number between 1 by 7 and 2 by 7. There's so many ways to do this question. A, onko to kori bule, kebatao method ase. Ami 1 by 7 decimal expression, 2 by 7 decimal expression ho liyeo paru. आरो नहले आमी यार नंबर की तरफ देखिए डेनोमिनेटर की क्या है 14 और 21 14 एंड 21 आरो याद गिवन नंबर उसका डेनोमिनेटर सेम है से, 7 बोलर 7 सो so, 1 बाय 7 एंड 2 बाय 7 ओके फर्स्ट वी विल डू डेनोमिनेटर 14 बाय हाउ मास वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई इनटू 2 and here also into 2 then it is 2 by 14 and it is 4 by 14 so 2 by 14 and 4 by 14 only one fraction is there 3 by 14 so here no 3 by 14 1 by 14 it does not lie between these two 1 by 14, which is less than 1 by 7, because it is less than 2 by 14. Again, 5 by 14, it is greater than 4 by 14. So, 5 by 14 also, it does not lie between this. So, now, we will check for denominator 21. Two numbers are there. 2 by 21. Sorry. Sorry. 1 by 7 and 2 by 7. Now we will make denominator 21 
into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 then denominator will be 21 for both 3 by 21 6 by 21 between these 3 by 21 and 6 by 21, 4 by 21, 5 by 21, two fractions are there and it is given one fraction is 5 by 21. So 5 by 21 lies between 3 by 21 and 6 by 21. That means it lies between 1 by 7 and 2 by 7. Ami either at our rational numbers of the Vishari Bolaga, given numbers to the given numbers of the option to put up depend on you. আমি কিমান আদি মাল্টিপ্লাই কৰি ডিনোমিনেটর সেম আছে কেতিয়াবা ডিনোমিনেটর সেম নাথাকিলে আমি এলসিএম লৈ ডিনোমিনেটরটো ইকুয়েলাইজ কৰিব লাগিব সমান বনাব লাগিব আৰু সমান ডিনোমিনেটর পোৱাৰ পিছত আমি কম্পেয়ার কৰিম তাৰ পিছত যদি কিবা মাল্টিপ্লাই কৰিব লাগে মাল্টিপ্লাই কৰিব লাগিব ঠিক আছে ওকে কেতিয়াবা আ অসমীয়া ইংলিশ বাইলিংগুয়াল হলে কেতিয়াবা প্ৰবলেম আহি যায় Kisuman Asam is our topic, our English or topic, not to Belek Belek Vijay. Mojiman Paro, Homiat, Dueta, Kobole, Zotnopolisu. Actually, what happened? Rational number, irrational number, terminating decimal, non terminating decimal. These numbers, sometimes we forget the Asam is term. Both terms uh, in Asam is an English. English terms, uh, it is uh, easier to keep in mind. So, uh, anyway, uh, this is the, for this question, number D, this is the correct option. Yeah. This one. At the time of uh, discuss on a particular question in the beginning, uh, I mentioned that for rational and irrational, first uh, we have to know this concept also, that square root of a number, if the number is perfect square, suppose square root of 4, square root of 9, 4, 9, these are perfect squares, perfect squares, perfect square numbers. So root of r 4 equal to root of r 9 equal 3. So square root, if we take square root of a number, it may be rational. But if the number is not a perfect square, suppose root of r 3, this is irrational. Because we can find this in terms of decimals only and this type of decimal is non terminating non repeating decimal so all square root of numbers all square root numbers which are imperfect square are always irrational now it is given n is a natural number so natural numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 these are natural numbers so among these numbers there are some Perfect square numbers 1, 4, 9 will come after that. So, perfect square numbers, if we take square root of n, then we will get rational numbers, and for others, we will get irrational numbers. So, which one is true? Always natural number, Hodayata Sahabi Hankha Havo, always a rational number, Hodayata Purimya Hankha Havo, always an irrational number, Hodayata Purimya Hankha Havo. Sometimes a natural number and sometimes an irrational number. Ketia ba polymer hoinka hobo, aru ketia ba opolymer hoinka hobo. Last one is the correct one. Sometimes natural number and sometimes an irrational number. Zodi ami puno borgo hoinka pao tetia hale natural number hobo, aru zodi ami hoinka to zodi puno borgo no hoin. Tetias tar bogumul lole at a opulimia hankari. Correct option is D. This is a question like this question one I have done, one I have discussed. 
which of the following number lies between 2 and 3? 2 or 3 is the number of 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 one point seven three. Eruta monoprakha bhav. Square root two, square root three. One point four one, one point seven three. Are some decimal numbers in come? These are non-terminating, non-repeating decimals. Both are. So if root three equal one point seven three, so one point seven three minus one. That means point seven three. So it less than 2, it cannot be, because we need a number between 2 and 3. So root 3 minus 1, root 3 minus 1 is less than 2. Root 3 plus 2, root 3 plus 2, that means 1.73 plus 2, then 3.73, because it will be more than 3, greater than 3, so it, it is not the answer. Again, root 2 plus 1, 1.41 plus 1, that means 2.41. So, it is less than 3 and greater than 2, this is the correct option. And last, root 2 minus 1, 1.41 minus 1, it is 0. 0.41. So, this is this number also, it does not lie between 2 and 3. So, correct option is C. And if you do not know the value of root of r 2 and root of r 3, then you have to find root of r 2 and root of r 3 by long division method. Okay? Yeah. This was the last question for today's class. So, I want to say one important point. If uh, this class gives you something, if you have learned anything from this class, then hit the like button, share among your friends, and subscribe the channel. Also, to get the notification of this type of videos, you click the bell icon. And if it is not important for you, so no need to waste time, then no need to open this type of videos. Okay, thank you.